Hey gamers, welcome back to another episode of Subnautica on PS4. It's good to be back in game. So we are in our second episode here. The first one, if you missed it, we went around. We got a whole bunch of uh, stuff. We got our vehicle deployment over there. We went over and found an island. There's a beacon over there we still couldn't get to because it was way deep. Don't know how to get down there. We'll probably need a submarine of some sorts. And I just got back, grabbed my knife. But now we need a new source of water. I have actually been using the stupid bladder fish um, as a source of water. But if you go down to your coral and you give that coral a slap, we'll actually get some coral samples. And if you've been like me and collecting pretty much everything you see, you'll also have some salt deposits. Cool. So this is some basic shit for some people to know how to do it. For, but for anyone like me who's just getting back into the game or new, this is a way better to make water. So you can use this to make up yourself a bunch of bleach. To make bleach. By the way, makes two bleach. Makes two bleach, makes two water. There we go, so we should open up our inventory and have a whole crap load of water. Awesome, so much easier than catching those stupid bladder fish. Now my goal here today is to go ahead and get together our habitat builder. We're gonna build ourselves a small little base here, nothing big, probably just like one pod with a whole bunch of lockers and stuff in it. But I need to get myself a computer chip and a wiring kit. Now, I have found one gold already, which will give us our computer chip, but I still need two silver ore for that wiring kit. Now, unfortunately, I lost one silver ore because my inventory was full and a damn fish stole it on me. So anyways, I gotta go out and do a whole ton of grinding here. So hopefully this doesn't take too long, but I need to get us two silver ore so I can make our habitat builder. And finally, we have our habitat builder together. Sweet, we got our goal for the day. Now that did take me a good 25 minutes, 20, 25 minutes to find all my stuff. But I spent a lot of time um, scanning stuff. I brought the, let's go open up my inventory here. Uh, I brought my grav trap along with me. I actually found it kind of cool because I threw it down. It would attract the, um, the outcroppings and a whole bunch of animals. Now I just scan the animals, grab the outcroppings while they were there. So that was kind of useful. I liked using that as a technique. We got a whole crap load of copper. Found a couple new fish, uh, some spade fish and some hoop fish. I cooked it out of habit. I'm not going to eat it. It's kind of shitty. Uh, it gives me 20 food. Can I, what happens? Okay, nothing happens. <laughs> Minus one H2O. So if you actually cook these guys up, they, uh, they seem not too bad. Well, what we're going to do now, now that we have everything together, is go outside and I'm going to dick around with this thing a little bit and we're going to see what this looks like. Alright, so I have to figure out a good place I want to put this. I think I'm actually going to pretty much build it exactly right beside where my ship is. So let's take it out. It's been so long since I used one of these. Uh, we're just going to build ourselves a multi-purpose room and then kind of build off that sucker. So how high up can we go? So we can go up this high. Oh, cool. I wonder if I want it down at the base or up on the water. Let's kind of build it right over on this thing over here. I think that would look a lot nicer. We are not allowed to build here. Oh, I guess we have to go high enough. Uh, I don't know. Let's actually go underwater. I don't like what that looks like. Well, this looks like a good spot, if any. It's, it looks like it's kind of out of water and in water. So we're going to place it here and uh, see what happens. So we put that down and we need five titanium to make it. Holy crap, building's actually kind of cheap. I have tons of titanium. 
And finished. Beautiful, look at that. Our first multi-purpose room. There we go. The legs are nice and down. Okay, no. We're actually just under the water, which is really nice. Alright, let's go ahead and put an entrance onto this sucker. So for our hatch here, we're going to need some quartz along with our titanium. Uh, but that is okay. I've been picking up quartz like crazy too. I seem to find it in those uh, little caves a lot. And we're done. Sick. So, that's the habitat part. That doesn't mean... Oh, sweet. Look at that. We're just out of the water up top. That is actually kind of cool. I like this. I can make a little hatch going out the top maybe here and uh, have a little deck up Oh, this is perfect, actually. I really like how this turned out. And the hatch is just under the water. <laughs> nice. Sweet. I, did, I tried to do that, but didn't do it on purpose. Now we need to get ourselves some solar power. And for this, we're going to need two quartz, two titanium, copper. We have all of those things. And we have solar power. Sick. Habitat, or habitat power restored. All primary systems online. Power restored. All primary systems online. Nice. We have our first powered habitat. Hey, this is pretty exciting. Kind of pumped about this. All right, let's jump inside and uh, see what we can put in there. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Welcome aboard, Captain. Well, thank you very much. I didn't know this was a ship. Okay, so apparently we can make windows and stuff. I don't know how to do that quite yet. How do we do that? Oh! Before we do that, look at this. So for a fabricator, oh, we can do this. We have gold. I found another piece of gold while we were out. I also found another piece for one of the uh, the ships too, which is pretty cool. You guys probably saw that in the cut through. Uh, so we can make a radio. I guess we don't really need that in here. Um, wow, this is kind of expensive actually. I get why though. Wall lockers, that's where it's at. This is where the storage is at. Uh, these things here... Oh, which one's better, the wall lockers or the locker locker? This is cool, an aquarium? <laughs> Self-sustaining aquatic habitat. Is that the big aquarium? Oh, that is so cool. All right, so let's uh, let's put a locker out here. We're going to put it like right up against it. Can I slide it in here? No, they're pretty specific about space, right? Okay, that's okay. I get that. You don't want stuff clipping outside of your build. There we go. Let's construct that sucker up. Nice. Six, we have a locker now. So if we walk up to this sucker, press X. Oh, look at that sexy, sexy storage space. I love it. Here we go. Awesome. So I'm going to grab all of the crap we have floating around outside the other base and toss her all up in here. And I'm going to drink that water and probably make some more too. That's a good idea. Decomposing. <laughs> you can stay in there then, you decomposing fish. Actually, I'll take you and dump you. So I have everything on me. What I've done is I've actually left one of these storage containers out here and I put the other storage container in it, like the other two. I did bring one over here and put it in the locker, but I completely wasted all of the room. Uh, but now I also have a considerable amount of water. It's so much easier to get water that way. I should have switched right off the bat to doing that. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to build myself another locker here. Let's whip out that constructor tool. What is this called again? Construction tool? I guess that's the exact thing it would be called. And we'll throw another locker down. Now, I think the wall lockers take up less space, but these ones hold more. I'm not entirely sure. I'd have to look that up. I've seen some videos on it, uh, but I haven't gone over it all. Oh, I forgot to break my metal salvage down. That's okay. I'll do that, and we'll come back. And done. Beautiful. We have another locker. So, oh, damn it, I forgot to jam these things in the waterproof locker. Uh, but I can put the rest of my salt and everything over here. We're going to actually make a fabricator over here. As far as I know, fabricators actually take up energy. So we'll have to be careful with it, especially at night. I'm going to have to go and grab that gold and grab myself a table coral sample. We got that. So let's see where we can throw this sucker where it's most convenient. I'm thinking right here in the entrance way because it's pretty tiny. I think throwing a locker in here would either not fit or just not work out. So we're going to go ahead, slab that down on the wall and build that up. Oh, I love that. There we go. Nice. Now we have a fabricator in here and we don't have to really worry about going to my, um, my lifeboat. 
unless I want to listen to the radio, because I don't really want to spend the money on the radio stuff. I guess the radio is only titanium and copper ore. I take that back. We'll build one. And built. Now we have a radio in here, too. We actually have a message waiting. Once we get our habitat together here, we're actually going... We're going to go and take a look. Oh, damn it. I just picked it up. I didn't know how bad many of you. I didn't know. We are now en route to your location. We're going to bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a big rig... A rig this big on a rock that small was in VR and I blew it. <laughs> That's fucking funny. So I am thinking about turning the voices back on here, guys. Um, oh, it's a bad option, all right. But so are all the others. Uh, so I'm going to do that now. I just... When you first start the game, there was so much noise and stuff going on. I turned it off, but we're definitely going to do that now. We're going to turn those... I decided I wanted a few windows up in here, so we're going to go ahead and take some of that quartz we have and turn it into glass. I'm going to do four because there's a couple other things I had my eye on too that we need glass for. Glass? Not cheap. It actually takes two quartz to make one glass. Okay, lesson learned. That's, uh, that's what we'll do. Okay, so I guess, how do we do this? Just right there? Oh, beautiful. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, neat. Now we got a window in here. It's starting to feel like home. Not much of a view, but it's still pretty neat. Maybe I should throw one on this side, too. We have a lot of room, so... Nice. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. I wonder if it, um... How do you tell what power level you have? Hmm. Oh, there we go. You just look at the building. As soon as I, like, drop the cursor, it's right there at the top. Power is 75 to 75, so we're not doing too bad. One thing we have to build ourselves is that vending machine. I'm not entirely sure what this thing does, but we found it on the floor, so we may as well give that sucker a build up. It's pretty cheap to do. Okay, perfect. So what do we do with this? Walk up, press X. What happens? Is it literally just a vending machine? Oh, oh. What's that? What just went into my inventory? Potato mix, plus three food, minus two H2O. Per potato derived snack food. I'm not gonna consume that just for the shits and giggles. That's actually pretty fucking awesome. Can we, can we do that again? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It gives you really shitty food. I love it. Mm, nothing like a good old bag of chips. So we have this desk here we can place too. Can we put it like right in the middle and stuff? Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I'm actually gonna put this desk right up against this window over here that looks about middle. Doesn't look like there's any snaps in the game. That's kind of cool. I don't mind some free placement. There we go. Now we've got ourselves a desk. Now, there were items I found, and this makes me kind of curious. I got a sample analyzer and stuff like a creature eggs. I think I saw in a video where someone actually placed them down on the desk. Can we do that here? I assigned it a quick slot, and look at that. I can actually place it down. And uh, can I make it? There we go. Like I'll, I'll place it so it doesn't look like it's over top of a screen or something. There we go. Let's place that sucker down. Sweet. Non-functional. Oh, that stupid pickup thing though is going to be there all the time. Can we do the same thing now with our creature eggs? No, we can't. I thought I saw someone put creature eggs or something on the table. Maybe it was a mod. I don't know. Let's throw it into our highly organized con locker. Oh, look at that view in our pod of the morning. Six. So it is morning time. Apparently the sunbeam is on its way to find us. So I guess we got some time to go and do a little bit of exploring, get some crap. I would love to be able to plant some kelp around the base too with the exterior. Now I have a feeling I missed some stuff back at that island, but I, how far away is that again? 977 meters? Hmm. Mm hmm What do we need? Titanium? We need all our basics. Now that I have these lockers and space to put stuff, um, I can do a lot of grinding and not have to dump any any crap. So I'm going to just kind of swim around here and grab myself some supplies.
I've spent some time grinding materials and moving everything over and getting everything done. So we have a good supply of crap here. I also did find one more silver when I was out. I do believe that's probably over here. Yes, there it is. Beautiful, my silver. Uh, so I'm going to stash everything here. And what we're going to do now, there is this one item I want to make if we take out our constructor here. And it's under habitat pieces right over here, the observatory. Now, to make the observatory, we need enameled glass and two of them, uh, plus one titanium. Not hard to make. What I want to do is I actually want to put that on top of this, figure out how to do that. That'd be pretty sick. So the observatory is actually above the surface, and we can see it from a distance as well. So that might help out. Uh, so I'm going to go over to, um, well, I guess it's nighttime. Uh, but in the morning here, we're going to head over to where the, the kale is, or the, the long crap. Look, we can actually see it from here. I think there's some right over there. We're going to head over there and go after those stalkers. I'm going to try to find some scrap metal. Apparently, if you give them some scrap metal to distract them, they'll chew on it and break their teeth off, and then you can get the, the stalker teeth that way. So we're going to go and dig around with the stalkers. In the meantime, I'm going to keep stalking myself up here. Look at that view, isn't that beautiful? I love this. It, it looks pretty decent on PS4, like I'll give them that. I'm on the PS4 Pro, guys, on uh, performance mode. I don't know if it impacts this game at all, but I'm honestly really, really happy with it. It's incredibly immersive. I absolutely love it. So now that it's daytime, I'm gonna stash some of my goodies. Oh, it looks like I'll actually have to build another locker. I should build another locker just for the titanium. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we're going to go out and try to bait some of those uh, stalkers to try to get some teeth so we can build the observatory on top of the sucker. Okay, so we're over where these creep vines are and usually there's a few stalkers kicking around in here but for some reason I don't see them. What is happening? When I first started playing that's all they did was harass me. Oh, maybe this is uh, maybe this isn't the one I was looking, uh, look looking at. I should have came to this one. There doesn't seem to be any over here. Oh, there's another piece of metal down there. I'm gonna grab that while we're here. Uh, I really want to try to trap a few of these guys. Oh, I just got gold. Sick. That was another nice find. Uh, it makes a specific noise when you find something really nice, like the gold. I enjoy that. I thought there's another um, sandstone outcropping. I guess I was wrong. Let's get some air. Oh, there's one. Okay, cool. So uh, now I'm gonna try to get above these guys. Yeah, right here. We'll go up here. I'm gonna drop one and see if they go after it. Here we go. Okay, where is it here? Let's go ahead, drop that sucker, get out of our inventory, and see what happens. Is he going after it? Are they gonna go after it? No. Really, guys? You're not going to chop on that? You're just going to swim away? Oh, let's try again. Okay, so it seems I've got a couple mad here. Holy crap, they do go right to the surface. I thought they left you alone if you came all the way up here. Holy crap, look at them come at me. That's funny. Okay, so it looks like they kind of path along here. So I'll have to watch out for them. But I want to get above these guys again and uh, try to drop some more metal down. It's <laughs> You have to do it real quick, apparently. Okay, let's try that here. We'll drop another one. Here we go. And are you going to go after it, bro? Are you going to go after it? No, you're going to go after me? Son of a bitch. How do I get these guys to chomp on them? I wonder if I could just stab these guys and get one. That might actually be a lot easier. Uh, I don't know how tough these suckers are. I've never allowed myself to get bit by one. Let's go stabbing. He puts out some sort of weird thing. Did I get any teeth off of that? No, no teeth. Maybe they dropped to the ground. I don't know. Let's stab some more. Stab, stabbing, stabbing. Oh, did it drop a tooth? <gasps> What's this? Oh, that's my metal. <laughs> I should actually... Oh, my inventory is full. God damn it. I don't see any teeth or anything, though. Holy shit, that guy's angry now. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm just trying to get your teeth, man. Actually, if I hold it in my hand and drop it, will they go after it? Let's try this again. I'm going to just drop one right from my inventory. There we go. Maybe I have to hold it in my hand. They don't seem to want to go after these when I drop them that way. Okay, let's try uh, equipping this shit. Okay, so we have it in our hand here. And if we press R2, it should drop it. It didn't even care about it. Is it going to go after it? I think it is. It, it ate my silver. It had no problem eating my silver. Okay, let's try dropping another one. 
Oh, it did. It took it right on my hand. Oh, that is so cool. Is that a tooth? Oh, that is a tooth. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, they're fighting over it. Oh, that is actually pretty fucking awesome. I don't, uh, I don't know what the teeth look like, though, so we'll have to keep an eye out. Oh, crap. Now it's coming after me. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so I dropped it down here. Let's see. Oh, it's going after it again. It keeps going after it. I wonder how the hell you get these teeth. They got to drop them doing this. Are you guys still attacking this thing? Let's go see if we can get them to do it some more. Okay, here we go. I got one. Oh, oh it's going after the ones on the bottom. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't actually drop that one. He's just attacking the thing. Yep, I still don't see any teeth yet, though. Hey, boys, what's going on? Do you want this? Do you want that? No, you don't want it this time. Look, guys. I gave you a nice little tasty metal plate over here. Come after this thing. Oh, did it grab it? It did. Okay, here it is. It's got it. It's got it. it let it go. Hmm. I might have to look this one up. So what we're going to do over here is I'm going to put a grab trap out. And I'm going to drop items around it like metal and titanium that they're attracted to. And try to see if we can't get them in a small area. Because if it drops a tooth, the grab trap should pick up the tooth too. Now hopefully they don't attack this grab trap. But we're I'm going to give it a try. We're going to give this a solid college try. Okay, sick. It looks like there's one right here. I gotta find more than just one though. Okay, there's a, actually a bunch down here. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna drop this sucker. There we go. Beautiful. Go up and get some water. And, oh, look at that. It actually grabs the, uh, it actually grabs them too. Cool, we'll come back down and check this out. Ooh, this thing's holding on a lot of stuff, a lot of sandstone and whatnot. Uh, oh crap, did it just try to attack me? It doesn't look like it's trying to get it now. Uh, but I'm looking, because it, it's biting stuff. I don't know if it's attacking things or... Um, but it's definitely biting. Hey, leave me alone, asshole. It's definitely biting and attacking things. Wow, look at that. The grab trap grabs it every once in a while. That's funny. Okay, i got to come back down here and drop some metals out to attract it. Oh, look at that. It is attacking the little fish. That's cool. Okay, so we have a couple metals here, too. So I'm going to go ahead and drop these right here and see if it doesn't like constantly attack them did the thing pick them up it's so hard to tell there's whoa look at that it just grabbed a fish from right beside me that's actually really freaking cool all right well there's a whole bunch of metal and stuff down here i don't know what's going to happen i don't know if i have to stay here and try to watch it like look at that it's attacking the metals so hopefully this thing picks up any teeth if it happens to drop any teeth attacking the metal oh crap Okay, so I'm going to run down to the bottom here. We have a whole bunch of crab down here. I can't tell what's what. Uh, so we're going to clean it all up. I'm going to drop the metal salvage if I have to again. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> I can hear him right beside me. And uh, come back down here and check for some more teeth. He's biting other things, like like the fish. So I hope he... <gasps> Is that a tooth right there? Are those teeth right there? They are! There's some teeth right there. Sick! Yeah, okay. I see them now. They're very, um, very easy to tell what they are once you see them. But sick... We have some teeth now, some stalker teeth. Awesome. So you just kind of got to be patient. Uh, just kind of wait them out and watch what happens. I got to grab this uh, grab trap back again. Oh, did we just get gold or was that copper? No, that was copper because I didn't hear the sound. All right, sick. Let's go back and make some enameled glass. It is daytime here and we are ready to add on our shining piece on top of our build here. So let's go ahead and load up our... Er, gun. I don't even know what to call this thing yet. Uh, so we have to build a vertical connector for this sucker. Oh, I guess uh, actually we cannot do that here. It's a learning lesson. Do we have to do this from under side? I don't even know. Huh. Maybe we'll actually have to go out, bend, and then go up? Can we even go up to it? This is going to be a learning lesson. Okay, so we got to build a compartment for this. So I don't think we're actually going to be able to build this sucker uh, over top. So I... Oh. So I'm going to go ahead, look down at it. That was a little awkward. I thought I can do it from the front. Now, I wonder if we can do a vertical connector now to this thing. Because this thing says locked, but I wasn't able to put a vertical connector to these ones. Let's try that out. It says I should be able to. Who knows, though? All the information could be old. Here we go. Okay, so it seems I can actually connect a vertical connector over here somewhere. It was going green. There we go. Perfect. So if I come over here, 
and I press the right button. Yes, nice. Does it connect up to it? Oh, it does. Beautiful. Now we have to go inside and put a ladder into it. But I wonder... Whoops, let's get back up here. That was a little awkward. I wonder if we can build the observatory from here. Will it go on top of the vertical connector? I definitely hope so. Uh, okay, we'll build a ladder. If not, we'll have a nice little lookout spot. Ah, I love dicking around. So as it turns out... You cannot build these suckers on the vertical connectors, which really sucks. So we're going to put our observatory out on the edge here. Let's go ahead and build that sucker up. Oh, that looks gorgeous. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. We got our observatory in there now. <laughs> that looks so cool. I got to figure out how to use ladders properly because, uh... Observatories and other glass modules are imprudent for survival purposes. Oh, well, thank you very much for your information. I gotta figure out how to use that vertical connector properly, too. Let's go check this out. Oh, awesome! Look at this, so now you come in here, you got your windows, I got my desk, and a little bit of storage, and our... You know what, this will probably come in handy sometime when I'm like, oh shit, I'm almost dead, I need some food. But if we come out this way, we get ourselves a nice little zen room. Oh, I love this. Listen to the music, too, that plays in here. Now that's some zen shit right there. I fucking love it. Sex, so we built an, obs or an observation room. We built a few tunnels. I completely failed with this thing. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. I'm going to take another stab at this, guys. I'm showing you what I'm doing. I'm, oops, <laughs> I'm not using the ladder correctly. Um, I get confused switching from controller to keyboard all the time. Uh, but I got the ladder and the tubes up there. But I can't place the ladder here. And I can't seem to place it in the tube up there because I can't look in the top. So I think trying to build up there is what is actually causing the issue because I just can't see it at all. I think you have to go to the top to see where to place a ladder. My problem is, whoops, here we go, up, up, up. It's just up here and I can't, uh, can't reach it. I can do the deconstruct from here, but it doesn't seem I can hook up the ladder. So let's try that one more time. Load that shit up. Yeah, it's too far away. That really sucks. I wish I could reach it because I can't place a ladder in it. Yep, no green at all. That is unfortunate. If there is a way to do this, guys, let me know. If I'm being completely stupid, please also let me know down in the comments. But yeah, we got a lot of shit here done today. And I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Let's get rid of this crap. Look at that. We got our observatory, our little place, our first little nice-ass base. This is so sick. So it's starting to feel like home. And I've made a lot of progress. Now I know there's probably not a long video. It's only a couple hours of recording and much of that was actually just grinding materials, finding things and exploring. I am very much enjoying this game. Uh, so now that we got our home base going, we wasted some time making the observatory, we can actually go out and start exploring. Hopefully we get some more messages and we can go and check out some more lifeboats and crash pods and whatnot. Anyways guys, as usual, stay classy, always back up them game saves, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace out, and have a good one.